It was the final night in Berlin, and Jackson was the main drawer at Germany's Bambi Awards. He was to be honored for a lifetime of musical achievement. Yet again, Jackson seemed extremely agitated. And, for the first time, he didn't want our cameras focused on him. Look at him, Mike. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he only wanted us to capture the adulation of his fans. While his security carried out last-minute checks backstage, the build-up to his award began. An elaborate series of introductions had been organized. But Jackson's disastrous trip to Berlin still held one last humiliation for him. I think that Michael is a, is a king. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Jackson, for writing such a beautiful song. With the ceremony entirely in German, Jackson took to the stage too early. The confusion was excruciating for all of us. The first name check was not for him, but for the presenter of the award, Boris Becker. The one and only for the Bambi pop star of the millennium, Michael Jackson. The award was supposed to seal his position as the king of pop, but by the end of this trip, it had done nothing of the kind. And there was something else that was bothering me. Back in Neverland, I'd met one of his good friends, a 12-year-old boy.